Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I think there's like a weird light, like a beam right here, like right here. And I don't know if it's from the light in the back, because there's nothing above me. I, I, I don't know, uh, never mind. Today is going to be a Christmas guitar lesson. Not that you can tell by anything being Christmas around me or what I'm wearing or anything. I was actually going to get a Santa hat, but um, yeah, I don't have one. So yeah. could get a fake beard. I don't have one of those either. But yeah, so I don't know why I'm ranting and raving as usual. But uh, yeah, so today is going to be Carol of the Bells for Christmas. Carol of the Bells. I don't really know who did Carol of the Bells. It's like the original one. I should have probably found that out before I did this. But Trans-Siberian Orchestra, if you know who they are, why do I keep pointing? I don't, I don't, if you know who they are, that's the version I'm going to do. It's like a nice heavy metal version. I'm not going to really get into the heavy metal. Like, nah, I'm not going to put like a ton of um, distortion on. But it's going to be their version pretty much. So, I guess Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Carol of the Bells, ho, 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 stick around. Okay, so Carol of the Bells... Um, it's in the key of E minor, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra version of it. I think the original version might be an F minor, and that's because I looked it up on Google and I put Carol of the Bells key, and it said F minor. <laughs> yeah, but I knew when I was playing this, I drank, but, 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 never mind, their version's E minor. Okay, so it it's in sections, so I'll just say section one goes like... Okay, so for section one, now like I said, I don't know if that, that's like the intro, I guess. And then like, there's no words, so I don't know, like verse and chorus and stuff like that. So I'll just say sections. There's, usually, there's mainly like four sections I'm going to teach. So section one starts off with... So that's uh, twice on the A string, seventh fret, to twice on the... D string, ninth fret, to seven on the D, to ten, nine, seven on the A. So, then it goes to the fifth fret on the A. Then up again to the 7, 9, 10. Like you went 10, 9, 7, now you go back 7, 9, 10. And then it ends on um, 7, 9 on the D. So the first part very slow. Then next, you do that pretty much over again, It just except it ends a little different. So again. So instead of going back what I did the first time, you end on that seventh fret of the A string, which is a, which where, where you can do a E power, you're gonna do an E chord after that. You could do it up here or, or there, it doesn't matter. It ends on an E. So again, slowly. Okay, so that's part one, section one, part one, section one, whatever. Okay, so section two, and I forgot to mention that I, I always have cuts on my fingers, so it's kind of disgusting. So it's kind of why more I don't zoom in as much. But on my, I don't want to give the middle finger to the camera, but on my middle finger I have cuts. That, so like you're probably wondering, like, oh, a lot of guitar lessons zoom in. 
and that would be way better yeah so um i'll try to zoom in if i can but mainly because of the cuts i kind of don't zoom in uh yeah so section two goes like Okay, so what that is, is G string, 12, 30, I mean 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 9, 12, 11, 12, 9. So, 12, 11, 12, 9. You do that four times. 12, 11, 12, then 9. Then you go to the B string, and it's kind of the same pattern, except the frets are different. You do 12, 10, 12, 8. So here it's 9, 11, I mean, sorry, 12, 11, 12, 9. Here you go 12, 10, 12, 8. You do both of those four times. So again, this... G string, 12, 11, 12, 9. Then 12, 10, 12, 8. Okay, that is section 2. Section 3. Section 3 goes something like this. Okay, so pretty much, I guess you could look at it like it gets hotter and hotter. <laughs> it's not that, not that this is gonna be that hot, but it gets hotter and hotter. It's like the beginning's kind of the easiest. Then the next section is kind of a little more difficult because you have to do that repetitive din and and then this is a little harder and then it ends with the hardest part in my opinion that din and 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 I'll get I'll get to it after okay so never mind forget that section three starts off with so what that is is twelve twelve ten on the high E string. to 13, 12, 12 on the B. To 10 on the B and then 12 on the G. To 10, wait. Yeah. Uh, three times on the 10, actually. Then 12 on the B. Back to 10 on the B. To 12 on the G. To 9 on the G. Again, it ends on an E. You notice how a lot of it ends on E's? Because it's in the key of E. <laughs> yeah. So very slow, section three. Okay, so section four is, like I said, in my opinion, the hardest part. Because it's kind of like that little run. Goes like... Uh, see? yeah see i didn't even do that <laughs> i didn't even do that good at all but yeah so that's why i say of course that's the little run that's probably the hottest part section four 
That's why I said it earlier. Her, 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 robot. What am I doing? I don't know. It's Christmas time, everybody. So it's going to be a little run, a repetitive run. And it goes like. Which is D. It's going to be D string first, which is 9 and 11. To. 8 and 9 on the G to 7 8 on the B so to 5 5 7 5 on the E ending on the 8th fret of the B so slow So you do that, you do that three times, I'm going to say, the full thing, then you go into, which is without the high E, so you're going to do that, Actually, maybe two times. I don't know. You can count yourself. I, I, you think I know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, so that next thing I think you do four times, you do um, just the D, G, and B strings like you did with the high E, but you don't do the high E. So 9, 11, 8, 9, and 7, 8. And then you end on... Guess what? An E note, 12th fret on the high E, 12th fret, same note, string. You could, um, I think Trans-Siberian Orchestra, they might do like the high, uh, you could bend the 22nd fret up to an E, but I don't like to do that because I always feel like bending that, I always just I've broken strings doing that for some reason a lot, so I never bend that 22nd fret up to the E because it's a D note. You can bend it up to an E. That's like the real me. Like I end it on the 12th fret. You're ending on an E. Could you, end it on, you can end it on an E chord, too. Although that kind of sounds stupid. But, uh... You're ending it on an E. Okay, so that's section one, two, three, and four. There is a... Back into section three. I mean two, sorry. Um, those chords, I, don't, I wasn't even gonna really show those, but this little... is um, an E chord, E power chord, 7th, sorry, yeah, 7th fret on the A root, twice, up to a D power chord, twice, up to a C power chord, twice, to a B power chord, twice. So 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, you do that twice. And then you would go back to, to section two. So other than there being probably tons of other parts to the song, I don't know, maybe I, I can't really remember the full song. <laughs> what am I doing? It's mainly those four sections with the chords. I guess you could say five sections. Yeah. So, yep, that was Carol of the Bells by pretty much Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Okay, so that was uh, Carol of the Bells by Trans-Siberian Orchestra, I guess I'll just say. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I hope all of you have a happy, merry, safe Christmas. 
I think when I put this on, it'll be the Sunday before Christmas. So, Merry Christmas soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ho, 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 and all that stuff. Santa Claus is coming to town. Let it be a white Christmas. All that fun stuff. I should have decorated better, but, you know. So again, I hope you have a really, in all seriousness, a Merry Christmas. If you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Gadoosh.